welcome back and hey to everybody that is new as well. Uh, so today is the solstice, I am away but I have pre-recorded the video for you so that you get it in time. Uh, we're looking at today if the odds are changing in your favour, in the words of the Hunger Games, that is our plan. Uh, reason for that, solstice, time of new beginnings, times of the longer summer days, um, it's also a time for major turning points in people's lives in the, in the astrological cycle. So that is what we're going to be looking at, where things are going to go, what direction is it going to be moving in your favour. Um, if you want to email me, please remember that I'm away till Tuesday. If you are watching this in advance, please remember, uh, after, yeah, if you're watching this after the solstice, it's irrelevant about timings. Um, reason for that is because psychics no, have no conception of time because we go into the past, present and future. So if you're watching it three months down the line, you're like, oh, it's not the solstice. It doesn't matter because time doesn't exist to, to psychics. That's how we work. We can go past, we can go future, we can go present. That's how we work. So all readings will always be timeless. Uh, the other thing that I need to say is, 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 is a couple of, well, w one person said, uh, well, no, a couple of people said the readings are really positive. Reason for that is you have to remember that readings with me work on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So I dip into all of your energies, I dip into all of your people's energies, which is why I say it is important to watch the shuffle in. If you don't, your energy isn't gonna register in the cards um, and it pulls out the strongest mutual energy between all of you so between the however many thousand of you that are watching so if you're thinking oh this is really positive and my situation isn't um, then it's probably that you're not involved in that strongest mutual energy that everyone else is so if that is the case you're going to want to book a private reading um, but majority of you mutual energy, strongest mutual energy. That's how me and my guides work. Um, also, we're not a massive fan of spinning you a load of BS because it's more negative. You know, we will phrase things that are more negative in a positive light because negativity is just a human conception of the brain. Ooh, okay, right, let's get going. So we're gonna do, is love turning in your favor? This is deck number one and this is deck number two. Pick a deck. Think about you, think about your person, going with, what can I say, we saw the root chakra, so reds, any kind of, uh, I'm saying red, where your lower chakras are taking you, if you're feeling a pull from the lower part of your body, go towards that, um, if you're not and it feels like it's coming from the higher part of your chakras, um, then go with that as well, where your energy is pulling you, number one and number two, we've got Wizard of Oz, not that you can see it, and we've got Brady. Picture decks, picture decks. Okay, let's go. Can you tell me please, is love turning in favour of deck number one? Is love turning in their favour? Mm -hmm. Right, think about your person. Can I get into their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes? So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, strongest mutual energy between you all. If you haven't, I've just had a massive rant. Okay. Let's go. Can you tell me, is love turning in the favour of the people watching? Is love turning in their favour? One. Okay, so the first thing I'm getting from Spirit is Eminem. Uh, sing for the night and sing for the tears. Sing for the moment, is it? Yeah. Is things changing in their favour? For are the, in the words of Hungary, are the odds in your favour? Five. That's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Six, that's good. Not doing too bad, not doing too bad. Oh, that one's a bit dodgy. Seven, let's get one more. Is odds changing in their favour? Eight. Okay, okay, okay. It's really hard to see. I love this deck so much, but it's really hard to see the writing. That says the sun on it. It's really hard to see the writing because um, it's all the same colour. So the first thing we're getting is sing for the moment. 
uh, and I'm sure that is Eminem. What their uh, spirit are saying with that is that it's really important that you guys are focusing on where you are at this present time. If you're starting to focus on the past, again, where's the Dalai Lama? I know I say this a lot. If you're focusing on the past, you've got depression. If you're focusing on the future, you've got anxiety. If you're staying in the moment, you're gonna be more at peace. And it's really important that you are staying in the moment, hence the song, Sing for the Moment. Stay where you are at this point in time and deal with what's happening where you are currently. You are actually feeling more in your power at this moment in time. You're standing uh, in much more stability. You're feeling quite a bit more at peace with this situation. Um, and this is going to be as June is kind of coming again. Remember, it's never... Um, uh, b -b 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 Time doesn't exist, I've just said that as well, but this is being definitely brought up as June as you guys are standing further in your power. You're starting to feel a lot more strength around you, you're starting to feel more at peace and you're starting to feel more balanced with the whole situation. You're in your power, um, standing strong, feeling stable. And through that, if you focus on where you are at the moment, you're going to be going into quite a happy period with things. Uh, there is still an element of fear happening from your person's side and that is uh, mirroring onto you guys. So some of you are, are you get into this, you're in a positive place, but then you'll gather a negative momentum on something and turn a little mom, little molehill into a massive mountain. And then you suddenly feel like you're surrounded by everything, giving you a headache, caused your own stress, and you don't know how to get out of it. Some of you aren't in communication and you don't really want to text them and say, oh my God, I just suddenly thought this, that and the other. And again, this is what they're saying about staying in the moment. This is what Spirit's saying about stay where you are at this point in time. When you get this negative momentum, it's really important that you try to break it. Um, if you hold it for more than 17 seconds, it's going to start manifesting into your reality. So try and break that cycle, try and break that momentum of it. Go and do something with your friends, go and paint your nails, go and blast some music out, anything to kind of get you out of that negative slum, out of those thoughts and feelings, and back into your stable position. Once this starts happening, um, there's going to be a number of choices and decisions that will be made. And you guys are going to have a pick of the bunch. It isn't just your person. There are people also around you that um, are going to start expressing an interest to you. Um, you will, you're you kind of feeling a little bit like you've got your back turned towards your person. Now, as soon as your person comes back, if you're not in contact or if they are still there, you're still a little bit with your back turned towards them. Once they start making more of an effort with you, you'll, you'll turn back the other way. But please don't just limit your choices to your one person. If you're thinking, should I wait around and things like that, don't put your life on hold for someone. Um, because if you're doing that, again, you're pressing pause on it because you're clinging on to the situation with your person and you're saying it's got to be them and if it isn't them, it's nobody else and I can't survive without them. Um, if you're doing that, you're kind of trapping yourself into a negative momentum. If you keep your options open, see who else is available, and until they commit to you, you don't commit to them, you're going to be keeping more in this power, you're going to be standing more in your strength. And from that, that releasing of the situation, remember letting go and moving on are two separate things. Moving on means, you know, moving forward, forgetting everything and, and starting again. Letting go just means releasing the situation so you give control to the universe and that is what you guys need to do. Keep focusing your life back towards you and release the situation so that it can move back in your favour. Um, once you've stood there, the more power that you stand in, the more things are going to change in your direction. So this is where you current guys currently are. What's happening with your person is they are going to start feeling on shaky ground. So the more strong you are, the more shaky they are going to start feeling. They're going to feel a little bit burdened. Uh, you're going to, they're going to start, you're going to start coming into their thought process quite a lot more. Um, a good way of describing this is it's the good way of kind of showing the energy so you know what, how it's happening um, is when you start to feel that you're not so close to the situation when you wake up one morning and it's not directly in your energy that is generally as a whole when movement towards you is happening from your person that is when you've released it that is when movement can happen from them. For this to move forward in your direction you need to stay on top of your game with it all and um, if they you, you'll have to let them take the lead with it a little bit. So when they when they do start talking to you about moving things forward and how it's going to change, um, let them take the lead. So let them talk about emotions before you talk about them. Because if you bombard them with emotions um, and you keep on reiterating to them how much you love them, they already know it and it will push them away because the fears will get too much um, and they'll, they'll panic about it and have their little tizzies, um, little... Ah. 
<laughs> tizzies as they say in England they'll have their tizzies and it might freak it might freak them out and push them away again so be let them take the lead whatever energy they throw at you so if they're friends be friendly back if they're um, distant with you withdraw from them you know if they are standing in their power stand in your power you know balance that energies out be more conscious of the mirroring effect because if you mirror the energy that they are putting on you they are going to want to know more about how you're feeling and what's going on but if you don't tell them they're going to be more curious which is going to get them it going into hunter mode so if you play your cards right things will definitely change in your direction and um, but you will need to up the stakes, up your game, standing in your power. Your person will start watching what is going on in social media. They will start making moves towards you. And if you do not express to them how you feel about them, they will definitely open up to you about what is going on in their heart. They will still be a little bit guarded by things, um, but their mind, body and spirit will all be aligning into a bigger purpose and a bigger the bigger picture. And from that, there is a happy outcome towards things moving in your direction so basically it will change it is turning in your favor as june starts to hit and um, july with the seven of cups standing in your power gaining choices um standing in your power making the right choices for you don't put your life on hold for them keep moving forward they will come back regardless the outcome will still be the same don't let fear in and win don't let the fears get to you the more power you stand in, the more your person is going to start panic and feel less stable with the situation. And from that, there's movement back towards you. They're going to either start watching you on social media if they're not already, or they will make communication with you, making moves, jumping, hopping, skipping forward towards you. They might still act on logic a bit rather than emotions, which is why it's important that any energy energy that they give out to you, you mirror back to them. And from that, there is the high possibility that the odds are turning in your favour with your mind, body and spirit aligning and a positive outcome coming forward. And that's deck number one. So keeping your power um, and you'll, you'll gather your strength. I just got another song. This is, um, is it Pagan? Uh, Mary, Mary, I don't dare sing it because I can't sing. Uh, I can't, well, you know I can't sing and I don't want to um, make a really, make you all screech. But Merry me and Merry part and Merry me again. Um, you're, you've met, you might have parted, but you will meet again. Uh, I'm sure it's Pagan. It might be Wiccan. It's, it's it's some kind of thing to do with our faith as a whole, uh, to do with the spiritual side of things. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. You guys will meet again. But keep stable, stand in your power for this to move forward. If you turn um, and go emotional and sad and needy and clingy again, you'll lose your power in this and it could go the opposite way. So for this to move in your favour, which it will do, is standing in your power in June. And if you're watching this later than June, just stand in your power right away. Remember, time is irrelevant. But for those of you watching, as it's coming out, June. And that is deck number one. Okay, let's do deck number two, 1253. So, as always, my babies, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. So it means I go into all your energies, I go into all your people's energies, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, I've had a rant at the start of the reading. Um, if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. Okay, think about your people. Can we get into their person's energy? So, what have we got here? We've got, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me, don't hurt me no more. So you guys are feeling a little bit more drained, a little bit more tired, a little bit more exhausted, a little bit more sleepy, a little bit more, oh my God, this is driving me mad, a little bit more, I can't get this out of my head. Um, and then the other song they've just given me is, one of us is crying, one of us is lying in a lonely bed. Who sings that? Is that Abba? So you and your person are, um, they're not feeling too great about the situation either. Okay, can you tell me, is the odds turning, is love turning in those watching's favour? Is it turning? How many cards did we do in the last one? Ten. Uh, I've also got, that's another Taylor song, should have said no. That's for all of you that are feeling a little bit hurt. That song is uh, about cheating, I think. 
as a whole um but it's just relating to all of you guys as a whole because you're not there's a distrusting energy it doesn't necessarily mean your person has cheated um if you if you aren't aware of that you need to follow your own gut instinct but it's not saying that your person has cheated or has picked someone else over you um it's just that energy of them coming through and they should have sorted they should have handled the situation better i'm gonna do 10 with this deck i'm just gonna, gonna do eight but we're gonna do 10 is it changing in their favor Okay, so what's happening is you guys, the majority of you are kind of going through a period of separation or distance and things like that. Please remember separation is an illusion at this moment. Um, well, separation, as the spiritual community say, is an illusion. Um, if you kind of get further into that energy, you're going to be feeling that you're not quite as far away from your person as what you think you are. Please remember that it's all up here in your head on the ethereal, rain, ethereal realms translation error let me just tune that frequency back in on the ethereal realms you guys are still in contact you're still in the higher dimensions there's still that communication going on between the two of you it's just coming down onto the 3d you're feeling like nothing's moving forward and that they have walked away from the situation at this moment in time so you guys are feeling like defeat has come that you are not sure whether you want to give up on the situation you're feeling a little bit betrayed you're feeling like communication's not ever going to happen or if it is they're just being shitty about it it, and you're feeling quite overburdened by emotions at the moment uh, feeling quite hurt from the songs that we got one of us and what is love um, this is where the kind of current energy is with you guys and what is happening with that one of us is crying one of us is lying in a lonely bed just because your person might be appearing to handle the situation very very differently from you does not mean that they aren't unhappy about it as well please remember that um at the moment they are licking their wounds they kind of got into this energy of oh i made my bed i will lie in it because that's the choice that i have made um but there is an element of regret coming forward in this situation they're feeling a bit regretful and remorseful and you're feeling a little bit angry towards them and there's an element of blame coming through on your side of things um there's a bit of anger as well which has been brought into the equation your person and you have had to kind of come to this loggerheads this truth something a lot of you there's a situation that has erupted other than that some of you you have been just ghosted and you really have no idea why uh, your individual circumstances are different as to why you are in this period of separation um but it is this period of you both kind of licking your wounds um they've been a little bit sly a little bit cunning with the situation um but they are going to start realizing that at the moment they've been trying to hide their tracks and what they've been doing and what's been going on but that movement um, is going to start being shown to you when your person does communicate with you they are going to be as honest as they can be there will be a little bit of sugar coating and a cherry on top of the cake um of what's happening in, while you guys weren't in weren't communicating or had this little bit of no contact there's going to be um a bit of sugar coating but they are going to be honest with you about the situation um so at this point in time you're both feeling a little bit low your person has had to go away to kind of work out what they want and some of you guys have pushed them away because you need space as well to work out what you want from that there's this element of conflict that is coming through you guys are very passionate strong sexual chemistry between the two of you um, and that passion can cause a bit of aggravation that's why your arguments can kind of blow through the roof hurricane tornado again um and they haven't been you guys haven't really been so grounded in the last couple of weeks with regard to your relationship you've been feeling flying away with the fairies thinking the worst feeling really unstable feeling really insecure and your person has been feeling that as well um this conflict of interest i'm hearing is going to start coming to a close in probably around i just heard a four so four weeks four months the fourth of a month and um, this is where things are going to start changing in your direction so it's not going to be the turning point of the solstice you're going to be looking further down the line and if you're watching this further down the line than the solstice please remember time is a man-made object okay it, it's a dimensional object 
you they are going to start feeling more stable about the situation so once this conflict of interest has kind of been had the right amount of time to ease up a little bit your person is then going to be feeling more stable and that stability is going to be coming towards you with some kind of offer now the offer that they're going to make to you is a pentacles but so you might reject the pentacle you might think oh i need more than a pentacle you can't just give me one pentacle because I've put my life and I've been grieving and I feel sad and this, that and the other. But it will be important to hear your person out. So the, when it comes back, at the moment, you're in this period of separation or quietness or a little bit here, a little bit there. And you've kind of called a bit of a truce. Um, your person is covering their tracks at the moment, but they're so you make these tracks back towards you. Conflict of interest where you are at the moment, both wanting different things. Well, you both want the same thing, but you both go about it very different ways. So you both have the same ideas of where you want your life to go but you're both very different at handling that if you haven't read a book called the five love languages that would be a really good book for you guys to read as a whole because this talks about how we love people in the way that we want to be loved and how they love in the way that they want to be loved and it can mean that this miscommunication and these tornado hurricane moments happen so please have a listen to that or read it don't ask me who it's by you can google it you will find it i think it's gary someone and i think there might be an audio book to it on youtube or there was so once this conflict of interest has started to phase and all this resentment and this blame and this shame and this oh i made a bit of a mistake has started to fade that is when your person is going to come towards you with some kind of offer with a little bit of a pentacle offering pentacles remember stability security so they're going to make some kind of offer towards you with this this pentacle now, how you react on that is going to be how you feel at that moment in time. You are going to be asking them to express what has been happening in the last few months and why they have behaved the way they have behaved. When you do that, please try not to lose your temper with them. Um, because if it kind of goes back to the same cycle again, you're going to end up back in this hurricane, tornado, period of no contact, little contact, etc, etc. So when they make this offer of this pentacle, try and keep cool and calm. Uh, try not to act on emotion, because if you act on emotion, they're going to know that they've still got control over you. You're going to have to stay in your power. And from staying in your power, that is when it will turn in your favour with the Two of Cups, the King of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Love, stability, security, happy families. And I don't do astrological signs on uh, mutual readings. I don't do them then. So, but those of you that do, that's a water sign. But those of you that aren't, this is heart-centered energy. So there's movement in heart-centered energy towards you. Again, hearing a four. Um, so it's not quite yet. It will turn in your favor, but it's not quite yet. Four weeks, four months, four days, four hours. I said that once. I said, oh, it'd be four days and it was four hours. So I'm, you know, anything along those lines. Um, just not quite yet. So you guys need this time apart. Remember, I've just got another song, um, Cute Without You. I don't know who Cute Without You is. But I'm cute without you. I can't remember who that's by. That song will start, it's a song of power. It's a song of I'm going to carry on. You'll come back towards me um, when the time is right. But it's going to be down to you guys on whether you want to pursue this or not them. But if it's going to turn in your favour with the person yet you are asking about, the answer will be yes. But the timing on it is roughly a four. Um, for now, you're kind of just going to have to lick your wounds. Let them, they've made their bed, let them lie in it, let them get on with it. Focus on yourself, focus on where you want to be. They will make some kind of offering to you when the time is right. Remember, you want the same things, but you're very different people, so you go about it very different ways. Um, they are hurting too, and that's why one of us came through as well, that song. Um, one of you is crying, one of you is lying in the lonely bed. You're both feeling that sad energy, but again, you handle it very different ways. Your person withdraws to handle their emotions. You want to talk about your emotions, but you try not to talk to your person about emotions, especially if they're not contacting you. Please don't keep messaging them because you'll push them away even further um, as your collective energy. You want the same things, but it's it's time for this just a little bit of a parting while you get more stable and you call this truce on the energy of, of you both laying your weapons down. Um, once there is more stability in their life and once they've worked through what they actually want, that is when they will make this offer towards you. And it's going to be down to you on what you choose, what choose what you want. But the offer, the odds with the love, the, the, the love, yeah, the odds of love will turn in your favour when they're ready.
and then it's gonna be down to you whether that is what you want. And that is deck number two. So tides are changing. Deck one's quite quick, deck two not quite so quick. Um, but keep putting one foot in front of the other. Stay strong, enjoy the solstice, enjoy the longer days, enjoy my birthday. Um, have a really, really good one. And if you email me, I won't be replying until Tuesday, Wednesday, so just bear that in mind. Um, I've got my out of office on, so if you leave it emails, I'll reply to them all when I get back. Uh, have a look at the website, that's just mysticlovetarot.com. Instagram is just mysticlovetarot, and my email is mysticlovetarot at gmail.com, in case you haven't got the mysticlovetarot bit. Alright guys, mwah, lots of love to you, take care, bye.